hallo, ihr Blutsaugen und Clownies und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Vampire. Wir müssen jetzt erstmal aus dem Theater hinkommen. So. Und das haben wir jetzt geschafft. Jetzt ist halt für mich die Frage... So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. Okay. Oh boy. Give me your blood. <laughs> Aua. Okay. Okay. Hm. Support the equality between men and women. Natürlich. So, Ladezeiten kurze. Nochmal. <lacht> Diese Ladezeiten in dem Spiel, die machen mich so fertig. Das ist so Wahnsinn. Das ist einfach nur Wahnsinn. Aber das geht schon fit. So, das sind wir jetzt im Club. Ach, ich glaub's ja nicht. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. Ja, ja, Lord Redgrave. I think we're safe for now. I pursued and killed the last hunter with my own passion and tried to escape. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. I did my best. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. 
Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he deserves to be. I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear the hesitation in your voice, Dr. Reed. I admire a man of principles. But in this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be the most influential man in England. After me, of course. Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least. But it is entirely mine. Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. You invited Lady Ashbury. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then? Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Hmm. Hmm. No, yeah. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Please, tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. What would happen if I made Dawson an Econ like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how 
he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor souls survive at all. How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the Reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. Was tue ich? Ah, uh, ja. Yeah. So. Ja gut, wir müssen jetzt nach Temple Church. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. Ich, ich hab, ich hab, ja genau, ich hab hier. Oder? Wo war das jetzt? Ich hab doch hier irgendwo einen Unterschlupf gehabt. Genau, hier. Die, 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 die. Gehen wir mal an unseren Tisch hier. So, guck an. Kann ich den aufwerten? Oh, boy. Sehr schön. Den auch. Okay. Nicht so viel Krimskrams hier. Hm. 
Jo, jo. Ähm, hier. Genau, Ausdauerverbrauch senken. Sehr schön. Okay. Jetzt bin ich am überlegen. Ist mal was fix gebaut hier? Ähm, so, meine Ultimate. Könnte ich die verbessern? Das wären 3000 Punkte, ne? Okay. Gesundheit. Zweitausend. Zweitausend. So, Gesundheit komplett erhöht. Nicht so unbedingt. Da kriegen wir auch noch 1000 Punkte. Komm, dort passt so eigentlich. Das bestätigen wir mal. So. ist halt echt scheiße dran. Ich muss halt gucken, dass ich mal die ganzen Dinger dann mal mache. So, Level 28, ey, cool. Hello again. Jonathan, back already? Good, good. I was just about to go outside to find you. You shouldn't stay away for so long. Do you need my medical attention, Mother? Oh, you know I always refuse to let you listen to my chest, son. It always seemed awkward, even when I felt ill. I think you should take this. You'll feel better. I'm not sure. I'll ever feel better, but thank you, my son. Goodbye, mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. Mm-hmm. Mary? Okay. So. Ähm. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Well, I've discovered he's quite versed in occult knowledge. So I wrote him a letter asking him to finance my research about vampires. He never responded. Tell me what you have discovered about vampires, Clarence. They've always been here. And if you search for long enough, you realize others know about these devils too. I'm not alone. Have you shared your research with anybody else? No. But I've published my leaflets all across the city, hoping that someday someone will realize I'm printing the truth. 
What do you mean you're not alone? Who have you met? The guard of Prewing. The Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, Ichabod Throgmorton. Those names always pop up when you dig deep enough. Have you spoken with any of them? No. With the quarantine, it's almost impossible to leave the West End. But as a doctor, maybe you could, Johnny. Are you asking me to help you prove the existence of vampires, Clarence? Yes, Johnny. Please, gather all the information you can find about vampires and bring it to me. You're the only friend I have left. I need you. Clarence, why have you distributed leaflets about vampires all across the West End? I have to warn everybody about them. They've killed thousands of people already, unnoticed thanks to the epidemic. We are all in danger here. Vampires in London? Come on, Clarence. Who's going to believe that? I'm not mad, Jonathan. You have to believe me. I know they are real. They're all around us, even as we speak. Clarence, you've always been a reliable and a good friend to me. If you say you saw a vampire, then I believe you. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you for your trust. You don't know what that means to me. It's all right. But if you want my help, you have to explain exactly what happened. The first time, it was in Rouen. I saw an officer drink the blood of a soldier. I saw its teeth. I saw it bite. It was a vampire, Johnny, and, and they're here too. How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so... Clarence, tell me about the vampire you saw in France. I was enjoying my leave in Rouen. I left the bar, took a shortcut back to the barracks. I saw it in a back alley. An officer in a stained uniform, biting into a soldier's neck. Did you ever see that officer again? No. He wore the uniform of the Royal Warwickshire Regiment. I did some research, but found no trace of him. He probably stole it from a previous victim. But you were drunk, weren't you? Are you sure these two men were not just kissing? Please don't insult me, Johnny. I hid, and I saw him leave. Then I saw the body, drained of all blood. I've seen the same marks here in London since I've returned. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Okay, gut, dann sehen wir uns im nächsten Part. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, die Folge hat euch gefallen und dann bis zum nächsten Mal.